Today in my class, we are going to learn about literary genres. Can anybody tell me what a literary genre is? You don't know? Okay, well let's start from the beginning. A genre is a certain kind of artistic composition, such as music, art, or books, that may be put into categories based upon their similarities. So, if a genre is something put into categories because they're alike, what might a literary genre be? A type of book? A type of book? Correct. Literary genres are different types of books about different types of things. Today we're going to learn about five different literary genres. Although there are many, many different kinds, we're only going to focus on a few today. The five that we're going to focus on today are fantasy, biography, folklore, science fiction, and realistic fiction. Let's begin with fantasy. Fantasy can be about people, places, or events that <coughs> cannot occur in the real world. Fantasy usually contains magic of some, or some other type of supernatural phenomenon. can be about people, places, or events that could occur or could exist in the real life or the real world, but we don't know if they do or if they don't. A biography tells the story of the life or a portion of the life of a real person by someone else. Science fiction is the impact of present day scientific possibilities on the world of the future. And last, we have folklore. Folklore are stories told across the generations to entertain, explain the world, and or transmit cultural values and beliefs. These are the types of stories that your grandma or grandpa possibly heard from their grandma or grandpa and has passed it down to you. So, after I told you a little bit about literary genres, can anybody explain to me what these five literary genres may be without my help? Um, folklore normally explains the world and the grandparents pass it down from generation to generation because they heard it from somebody else, maybe a little bit older than them. Uh, biography is the real life story of somebody told from somebody else. Science fiction normally deals with science of the present world and going into the future, the present day scientific world. Unrealistic fiction it could be possible, but we don't know for sure if it is or not. People, things such as people, places, and events. Like Bigfoot. Uh, fantasy is not true, and it normally deals with magic. Okay, good job, good job. Now, since you know the different literary genres that we've gone over today, I'm going to assign you some homework. 
What I would like you to do for me is to pick a genre that we just went over, and I would like for you to find some things about that certain type of genre and put it on a poster for me. And when you come in the next time to class, you're going to have to show your poster and explain to me why you think it is that certain type of genre, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. The next morning. Good morning, class. Yesterday, I assigned you an assignment for homework. Does anybody want to volunteer to show their poster? Okay, Erin, what did you do your poster on? Um, I picked fantasy characters like the Little Mermaid and the Fairy Godmother. And these, this is a fantasy genre because it normally deals with magic and these things aren't real. Okay, so who is the character in your left-hand corner? That's Ariel. Ariel. What is Ariel? Um, she's a mermaid. A mermaid. And why is she a part of fantasy? Because she's a um, cartoon and we don't, mermaids don't exist. Mermaids don't exist. Okay. Good job. And what about the right hand corner? Who is that? The fairy godmother from Cinderella. Fairy godmother. What is the fairy godmother? She um, does magic. Magic. Okay. And what does she have in her hand? A wand. And a wand helps with magic, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the bottom left-hand corner? And that's a dog at the radio station. Okay, so dogs exist. So why is that fantasy? They, they can't do radio station music and stuff like Oh, that. so they can't talk? They can just bark and stuff? Yeah. Okay, good job. And what about your last picture? That's a witch and witches don't exist. Witches don't exist. Why not? Because... What do they do? They fly around on broomsticks and, and do magic. Okay, well, that's a really good poster, and I'm going to give you 100% because that hit right on the head. You hit the nail on the head. Congratulations, you got 100%. And I hope you learned a little bit, a little bit more about literary genres, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, stop it.